was up all night doing this. No, I was not up all night. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, some of these I had. What's with all these Penske trucks? Somebody's moving. You should call them and, and find out what's, <laughs> what's with all of them. Oh, Christ. It's an auto race somewhere. Well, all right, I'm going to do it. Where, where, where am I at, you ask? I'm sitting in a car. And a car, you, you say? Am I driving? No, I don't have a license. And in front of me are two human beings. One being Chevy Chase. And uh, the other being Betty from Kung Pao. These two actually are my parents. Mom, uh, Mary Beth Malta, and and Char Charlie or Charles Joseph Malta, my father. And I am Juice Man. You know me as that or Charles Patrick Malta. Of course, that is my real name. And we got a little interview for you. We're headed to Niagara Falls. I don't remember being there <laughs> ever. I think we were there when I was really young and and uh, my brother Johnny remembers it, and but I don't. So, uh, hey mom, hey dad, how's it going? Hey Juice, thanks for the interview, and I'm excited that you're going with us to the great Niagara Falls, one of the seven wonders of the world. And I'm sorry, it's taken us 19 years to get back there. Yeah, well I'm 20 now, so actually 20. <laughs> no. Well, no, but you were in my arms oh, right. last okay. time we were here. Yeah. And John was throwing his blanket John over the falls. John almost lost his blanket, as I recall from the video footage. Um, well, yeah, so might as well get right into the interview. So, guys, Mom and Dad, what is your uh, your favorite movie right now? It's easy for me. My favorite movie is Caddyshack. Caddyshack, good one. How about Mom? Uh, mine would have to be Lion King. Lion King. That's a classic, both classic movies. All right. Yeah. So, how about your favorite food? I would have to say pizza. Pizza, pizza. pie. Pizza, uh, nice. How about Daddy O? My favorite food is from Mama Roberto's Chicken oh. Marcella. Nice. Very good. And uh, with that question, how about favorite restaurant? That's going to be a tough one, I think. For me, it's easy because I asked your mother to marry me at the Roman Gardens in Little Italy. Oh, nice. Okay. How about you, Mom? McDonald's? Uh, Mom? I would have to say probably... The Brobnik's Croatian Hall. Oh, great. Lemon chicken. The best. Okay, so this is the kind of a little vacation, right? That we're, I don't know, a yes, weekend. So right. what's your fav what was your favorite vacation ever that we've been? We've been to Disney so many times, Arizona. Uh, where else? Uh, New York, yeah. A lot uh, of Columbus. Places. We haven't been out of the country yet, um, but... Now we're going to Niagara Falls, and we're going to see see what that's like. But what's your favorite vacation ever? You guys go to Vegas, I'm sure that might be probably. Well, that's easy for me. I'll answer. Yeah, go ahead. My favorite vacation is Las Vegas. It's Vegas. just an incredible time to see your mom have so much fun. Uh, Disney was great, and all the trips to Arizona were fine. But there's no question about it. Um, it's just a, it's an adult playground, and we have a blast. So that's an easy one for me. Mom? Well, I would have to say all those trips to Disney, those were my favorite. Yes. Year after year of spending time with my kids at Disney. I mean, who could say that for uh, like to over 15 years going to Disney every year and, and it never really got old. There was always something, you know, fun to do. Yeah, it gave, uh, gave me and Johnny Boy uh, some great imaginations. There so you go. we both thank you for that. Sure. I'm sure he thanks you too. Mm -hmm. All right, how about uh, the Big Mac or the Whopper? Which is better? Big Mac. Big Wh Mac? Whopper, the original. Oh, no way. Wow. That's uh. With extra mayonnaise. Extra mayo? <laughs> oh. How about the Big Boy? You the Big Boy? All right, Big Boy or In N Out? Well, oh, I'd wow. have, there's a policeman. Uh, I would have to say big uh, boy. Big boy? I wasn't too good about that animal. In and out. Yeah. yeah, that animal flavor. Yeah, I like style. the sauce on that. Oh, that. That is a very tough question, but I'm going to go with the in and out. Oh. Really? Not the extra sauce big boy? Oh, boy. Well, 
I'll, I would choose in and out too, probably. Um, I love those. The uh, Okay, here's, here's a good question. This Adam Sandler movies, you guys have seen lots of them. Uh, this is a list of about like ten of them. Okay. So w- I'm gonna I'm gonna say the say the movies and then you say which one is the best at the end. Okay. All right, Coneheads, Airheads, Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore, Wedding Singer, uh, Waterboy, Big Daddy, Little Nicky, Punch Drunk Love, uh, Mr. Deeds, Anger Management, The Longest Yard, Funny People, Don't Mess with the Zohan, and Jack and Jill. So out of all those. Which was your favorite Adam Sandler film? I would have to say Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? Well, since we got to pick one, I got to pick one. I'm going to say one and one A. Happy Gilmore. We agree. And one A would have been Waterboy. Right. Oh, Waterboy. They're both great. And now, he was right a, up there was The Longest Yard because that was yeah, amazing. yeah. He was in other movies, but that was just yeah the yeah. ones I. That's I quite a few movies. I'll tell you that. I've done two. His latest ones are not that great. Jack and Jill. <laughs> yeah. Um, Who is your favorite SNL cast member ever? Oh, that'd have to be John Bellucci. Yeah. Yeah. And Dad? Whoa. You'll see the cheerleader, Will Ferrell. Wow. Wow, that was a, that's a really good question. Um, you know what? Um, I'm going to have to say... Oh man. Regilda. No, you Gilda know what? Can uh, I say. Tough. I would, uh, I would guess you would say Amy Poehler, but I'm not sure. Or Tina well, Fey? She's new. I, you said. I'm going to go. I, I definitely going to say Tina Fey. Her imitation. Oh my, it's just incredible. You thought it was her. What was it? Um, Palin, Sarah Palin, yeah, right? Yeah, well, Sarah Gilda Palin. Radner, she was good too. Yeah. I'm no, going to say Tina Fey. People. Tina Fey. Okay. Awesome. I think the older episodes are much better than this new... New stuff? New rave, yeah. Well, they just lost Andy Samberg and... Uh, they did? What's the one girl? I can't think of her name from right now. Wig. Yeah, Kristen Wig. They yeah. Both, she's from here. They both, uh, they both are just kind of... They're Doing movies? Yeah, just movies and TV probably. Wow. I don't know. Other stuff. They're both good. How old is Will Ferrell? This is trivia round number one. How old is Will Ferrell? 43. Good guess. And Dad? 45. He is 44 years old. Oh, we both won that Born one. on uh, July 16th, 1967. Wow. How old is Will Smith? <laughs> 42. All right, Dad? Will Smith, I'm going to say, is 43. He is 43. Born on September 25th, 1968. You believe that? Pretty good guess. One more. Uh, Angelina Jolie, how old is she? Oh, boy. I'll I'll go first. Ah. 41, huh? Stole my my guess. I'll say 42. Ooh, you guys are a little bit off. She is 37 years old. Ooh, sorry. June 4th, 1975. She was... Wow. (laughs) Youngster. Yeah, um... Not even 40 yet. 37. She'll get there. Uh, what? You have lots of clothes, both of you, I think. We all do in, in the Malta household. Uh, yes. So could you pick one certain article of clothing that you like the best? Or a certain outfit that you've worn in the past? That you would... Anywhere, anytime. Yeah. yeah. Any, uh, anything. Any article. T-shirt, shorts, uh... Those really cool zebra pants you guys used to wear. Remember those ones? Uh-huh. Yes. I don't know. Um, it'd have to be just one thing. Yeah, sure. A t-shirt or a pair of pants or, or a whole, whole, uh, whole getup. Maybe a hat or a tie. Well, I have this. A dress. Uh, yeah, I have this blue dress that I wear the Titanic necklace with. Oh, very nice. Every year to Vegas for. The last 15 years I've been in it, so that's um. That's that's great. How about, how about for me, uh, my my Juice Man shirt. Oh, I like that the best. Thank you very much. Wow, brownie. Awesome. <laughs> um, well, I think they're both good choices. <laughs> um, my, my dress is pretty. What 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 is your highest game ever bowled? 
you, can you recall? Yeah, 197, I believe. It was an all spare game, I remember. All spares, wow. Yeah, mine, uh, 245. What? Well, oh. well I was with the Aces. Oh. Rich Wysocki, John Wysocki. I'm in love, Charlie Malta. And Sherry Lanes. Yeah, Bondi was the. Uh, Next to the trip. movie theater at Shorge. Right. Charlie doesn't know any of that. Yeah, I wish theater, I wish we still had a bowling Shirley alley there. Lanes. That'd be great. Yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah, bowling alley and a movie where theater. Where you could sit in, have a you could soda. be like Zena and you could work at the movie theater. I could. That's yeah. right. Um, have you ever met anybody famous? Either of you? Yeah, that Carmen Electra, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. Very good guess. Well, we're out in Vegas at um, Tangerines at the Treasure Island in Las Vegas. And he rode on the same plane as Million Dollar Man. Oh, yeah? The wrestler. From wrestling? Yeah, yeah. but I, I, I met someone more famous than that. Uh-oh. Uh, Who's that? Oscar Robertson and Jerry Wilson. Oh, yes, yes, yes. At the, the Cleveland Cavaliers uh, basketball game. Someone sat, brought that up today. We saw it in uh, Dan Gilbert's Lowe's. And right. We uh, got a picture with him. Uh, well, uh, Robertson, yeah. David Winfield, I had got a book signing me and Joey did at Mark's, which How about was Jody's a long time ago, Robin Swoboda, yes, she was at our school and uh, I got her autograph, uh, Doug Deacon, nice, who else? I don't know. Uh, you got, I get to meet Doug Deacon too. My car Grove, Bobby DiBiase. Yeah, those are yeah, show. You, my show. Did you talk to Elgowskis? That's my favorite Brown of all time, but I never got to meet him. What, what about the guy from East Lake? Bob Gain. Yeah. He, no, those other guys are more famous. But those are famous people. Yeah. That's, that's really uh, cool. You know, I have to put in that Mary Lou Beers because she might be a, a walking saint, so she'd yeah, be famous too. Definitely. 